Hello, and welcome to an unboxing by me. This is uh, Debbie Nova, and this is my first unboxing. And here we have a package from Amazon, and it is the Call of Duty Black Ops controller for Xbox 360 uh, by Mad Cat. And um, I bought the Modern Warfare 2 controller a year back. This one right here. Um, it's I loved it. I loved it so much, but uh, the wire shorted out. I bought two of them in the same problem, so I'm hoping this one's going to be a bit different. So I'm just going to get straight to it and open it up. So the razor. Here we go. Uh, it's been a bit simpler packaging. Before, it was in a big box and it came with this like ammo box deal that you could store it in. At least when you bought it from GameStop, um, you got this big ammo box that you could put it in. And uh, so far, it looks really cool. So I'm gonna open it up. I hate packaging like this, it's just stupid. And this is a wired controller, which I favor. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of changing batteries a lot, even rechargeables. I got rechargeables right now, but I just, I don't know, I like having a wired piece of mine. Um, alright, packaging, instructions. And there we go. Wow, there's something else. That, wow, it feels really good. There's a lot of resistance in the triggers. It was, the springs are a lot stronger. And these are a lot quickier. Let's pull out my regular Xbox controller. Just The triggers are about the same size, but this one just has a lot more resistance, and I just feel like I just push a lot harder on that, and um, here you have the combat buttons. What this allows you to do is to assign the triggers the different like face buttons, like A, B, X, Y, or uh, the click sticks, clicking on the sticks, to buttons underneath, so you don't have to take your fingers off the uh, the joysticks, which is nice. I didn't use it a whole lot on the Modern Warfare 2 ones, because if you look, they are tiny. There's these little tiny buttons. And this one has these big old combat buttons. And uh, these aren't too different. Although I do miss the triggers and the bumpers on these. I like these a lot more now. The big square ones. These big old ones. And these triggers that have lots of action. I guess really like just trigger away them. Um, Alright. D-pad feels about the same. Everything's about the same if you had a Model Warfare 2 controller. Except the texture is a bit different. This feels a lot more rubbery and this feels like softer. And the grips on the side are different. And also, the big key thing is, you know, I'm going to do this. Hopefully, the cable won't break me this time. I hope they uh, fix that because I've had it happen, yeah, had it happen twice. So, I'm very disappointed. Um, nice big long cable. Plug it in. Red. That is cool. I'm colorblind, so that's like, I mean, it's, r it's still red, it looks a little pink. Um, this one was green, can't really plug it in, it doesn't work anymore, but uh, it doesn't work too well. Um, but yeah, this feels great. So, also I heard that these, you just change it to RSB and LSB, I think? This is the right one. It, uh, what it does when you hit the button, it drops your sensitivity down. So you can, like, if you're sniping or if you're long range shooting, you can um, like find your movements. It's a lot. It, it stabilizes your shot, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Precision aim. That's what they call it. Uh, it's kind of hyped up. I don't know if it's a gimmick or not. I get to try it out. But I'm sure it'll be a nice little thing just to add on. And um, the color feels great. It's a lot lighter. And this one, I'm going to have to put gel tabs on. Because the thing with this, there's no 
like rubber texture. Okay, there's a little bit of it, but there's not a lot of grip. There's just these little dimples that you can put your fingers on. And after a while, after the oils on your hand get onto it, and yes, you're going to get oils on your hand. If you have hands, you have oils on your hand. It's going to get on there, and it's going to start getting really slick. What I did before with my Modern Warfare 2 controllers, before I got these little gel tabs, um, I actually put uh, grip tape from a skateboard on it, and that actually helped a lot for a while until I got these. And then these these are like a buck fifty, two dollars, and they solve your problems. Otherwise, if you have like uh, FPS freaks, stuff like that, um, that works perfect too. Um, let's see, nothing special here. Everything I've covered is just warning, license agreements, blah blah blah. Uh, so that's about it. I'm not gonna lie. This looks really, really cool. And if you're all obsessed with Black Ops, you're stuck in the Black Ops fever right now, pre-launch. You're just like, I can't get enough. So, I love it. Love it, love it. On here. Um, oh, also, today is November 8th, and if you're... <laughs> if you know anything, you know that Black Ops comes out tomorrow. And I will have a unboxing for you. I will have an unboxing of the Prestige Edition, of the Xbox 360 version of Call of Duty Black Ops. And I will also have an unboxing of the Prestige Edition of the FPS Freaks, specifically designed for Black Ops. They're not too different, they're the same, but they have the, uh, they have that symbol right there. The skull, the big skull, they have that on the tips, like a laser engraved. And it just looked really cool, and I was like, I gotta get these. So, I picked those up, and, um, I'm gonna get those tomorrow, I'll give you a review, I guess, uh, unboxing, and, um, I'm really looking forward to it. So excited for tomorrow. Alright. Thanks. See you later.